Here in Utah, we are dealing with an unusual warm spell, <laughs> right? Which is spelling trouble for some outdoor ice rinks out there. Chopper 5 shown the Galvin Center. It's still going pretty strong right here, but some others up and down the Wasatch Front really aren't seeing major setbacks. Northern Utah Specialist Mike Anderson explains why one rink is one of the coldest parts of the state that hasn't been opened yet. Yeah, that may look like the beginnings of an ice sheet out there, but the snow on the ground is actually more like this, way too slushy, and that's why workers with the Parks and Recreation Department here in Logan are having to watch and wait. At first, they needed to have enough snow to start building the rink for the season, but then they got too much. Workers had to put a priority on clearing walkways and trails, and once they almost had a reprieve there, we got hit with the warmer temperatures and rain, which is not a good combination for ice skating. Parks and Recreation Director Russ Aquina says it's very rare that the rink at Merlin Olson Park goes this long without opening up for the season. Typically what happened for us is after we would have a snowfall, um, it would stay cold. After the you know storm passes through, we get cold air. That cold air will set up and, and those become perfect conditions for us to compact the rink. And outdoor ice rinks in Midway and Huntsville also had to close because of the warm, rainy weather, but those ones are already looking at plans to open again. Unfortunately, the one here may not be so lucky. I'll explain why at six. Mike Anderson, live at five. All right, Mike, we will see.